Hello there. How are you doing? And welcome back. Now today, as you will notice, I am present, alive, equipped with one of my favorite dad t-shirts and ready to talk about our favorite bearded man, none other than Billy F. Gibbons and his latest single, Desert Pie. From what I can tell, everyone seemed to quite enjoy everything that Billy Gibbons was dishing out. We liked West Coast Junkie, and I'm more than happy to say that there's a lot to enjoy here well oh and a quick interjection in the middle of the video here if you've liked me so far although the upload schedule has been a bit iffy i swear to you i've worked that much harder to get you some spicy shit during this upcoming week so do subscribe down below to keep an eye out for the stuff to come every single one of you who takes the time to subscribe out there remember so i i respect you but let's get back to the video at hand so after all that shabam, let's just grab our coffees. Let us get into the swing of things. And I know you've all missed this, but uh, let's caffeine up as you will. As we dive into the ingredients of today's single. So from the very beginning of the song, we get some warmer guitar tones. Everything seems to have taken a step back. Uh, some really tasteful vibrato reminiscent of old school's late 50s rock and roll music. Uh, where Billy Gibbons and the group seem to really channel the inner doors vibe with their use of reverb, with the use of vibrato, which I just mentioned, and a vocal which is really whispery, you know, it just kind of accompanies you, sussing you into an almost comatose state where you're just kind of sitting back and listening to the music. Sussing you into. And I would really say that this song points to the skill and variety that we can expect from this album specifically, given the extensive and impressive library of music that uh, all these artists have put together. And let's be real here, we are, after all, dealing with one of the marquee greats of rock and roll guitar and music in general, so I would expect nothing less from him. Now don't get me wrong, all this talk about variety, all this talk about something different and an extensive library of music really does not mean that this song is just a monotonous ASMR display of what modern recording technology can do. We do step it up, there is a climax, everything does lead somewhere, and that beautiful vibrato and that beautiful echo we get in the beginning slowly gets closer and closer, building up to this uh, breaking point, channeling the dad blues, or what some may consider a slowed down version of Satch Boogie. Actually, it's quite funny. If you listen to Satch Boogie, slow it down by 50%, it does kind of slay on like a Billy Gibbons solo. So. <laughs> The more you know. But everything coming together to really show you that you don't need to break the roof off and to break people's eardrums to provide us with a smashing hit. Before we go any further, let me just quickly address the elephant in the room. Uh, if you kind of look at my last week here on the channel, I may have uploaded once. And coming from a couple of weeks of basically daily uploads, I can understand how some people may uh, be a bit confused and uh, shit, shit on me, I can see how that fucking tanked the, the viewership on the channel a bit. But let me provide some context as to why. You see, with the easing of restrictions, I decided it was time to play some sport as I may have put on just, just, just a little bit of weight during the lockdown and uh, you know, I need to get fit and uh, get back into the swing of things. And somehow, in Europe, in the middle of April, where the sun is possibly, you know, like one of the least threatening things you could maybe think of in my areas, whilst outside for an hour and a half playing basketball, I, my body is so not used to the outside world that I somehow managed to suffer from heat stroke. You what? And sunburns everywhere, and yeah, fuck me, I, I was sick for days, Ooh. frankly. I still feel a little bit low energy, I still feel a bit achy and everything, but... This must not stop the content drought because there's so much shit going on. So I'm going to try my best to work a little bit harder, get you some spicy shit, and um, let's uh, let's let's get back to the lovely strides we were getting into not more than a week ago. 
Now, hold on there. What about the flavor? What are we getting in this song specifically? Well, I've hinted. We're getting some variety, and we all know I do love myself some variety. Listening is something different. Keep the ears and the mind on their feet with regards to what to expect. And here, it is truly delivered. Now, I have heard and I have read that uh, Billy Gibbons does state that this is not the landmark, this is not the bar according to which we should measure the album. It's more of an outlier. The rocky, southern taste of West Coast Junkie is more the tone that we expect and uh, enjoy from our resident bearded expert and Desert High more specifically in these Dorsey tones as he says it really channels and reflects the state of mind and the surrounding environment that these musicians had at their disposal what? in their desert recording booth as they played along and came up with new music and you know I, I can get behind that I understand you can really feel the intrigue, uh, the suspense, or almost sort of reflecting the idea of a mirage slowly getting you into an out-of-worldly experience or something that just really isn't there. So tonally and from a flavor perspective, I can really get behind it. Frankly, I probably preferred it quite a bit to West Coast Junkie, and I don't know, I just really enjoy the ability of these of these fellas to just tone it down and offer some really expressive, interesting lyrics in a whole different package. And I know I value that stuff, I really like it. But don't you worry, if you really want the energetic shit, there's probably more to come. If any of what's been said and chatted around this album so far is any indication to go by. And to thusly cap things off, why don't we dedicate a moment, a short segment as we usually do to the presentation of this big batch of sauce, which we would normally go on to taste. And please say it with me, say it loud and say it proud. Say it. What good is a delicious tasting batch of sauce? Good! Say it louder. What good? Louder. What good is a delicious tasting batch of sauce if it in fact looks like shit and no one wants to taste it? Well, from a presentation standpoint, as we've sort of been hinting so far, I think there's a lot to bite down in here. There's a lot to allure a dining customer in for a refreshing bowl of sauce. Guitar playing and rock and roll, as we all know, isn't all about chugging it and isn't all about massive gain on the guitar. Uh, as I may have hinted at through my videos in the past, again, I really like particular different tones that perhaps focus on doing something different. Instead of cranking the gain, maybe just focusing on cranking the volume, letting the amp and the breaking point of the amp speak for itself, or in this case, maybe just sussing it off a little bit, using some pedals and effects to offer something different to the ear, channeling these Dorsey tones. I mean, do I have to really say more than that? It's Billy Gibbons. And he sounds like the doors, kinda, not really, but kinda, y you know what I mean. So all in all, I positively and absolutely and abso fucking lutely tibly schmidtly believe that on the scale of source, we are looking at a warm, comfortable, and spicy 85%. There's a lot to offer here, there's some variety, there's some taste, there's some, uh, Interesting guitar tones going on, and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly behind this project at this point. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you agreed with what I had to say so far, and uh, tell me if you're looking forward to the new album, because I certainly am. That being said, thank you very much for tuning in today. Again, I'm sorry about the sort of sparse-ish upload schedule for the time being, but, uh, you know, the sun got me, and... Uh, I have the skin and tolerance of a vampire, so yeah, I kind of just got fucked there. But I'm back, ready, and I'm more than willing to work just that little bit harder to treat you to some special shit this week, so um, stay tuned, enjoy the memes. If you made it to the end of the video here, do remember, subscribe down below. I appreciate and love every single one of you funny bastards who takes the time to subscribe down below. It means so much to me, and uh, yeah, do remember, stay classy, my internet people.